Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about how to make the upgrades for our player. So things like the player's speed and the player's health, being able to upgrade those uh, for our shop. And we're going to be adding uh, some gold to the game so we can actually buy things in our shop. So to start out with, the first thing I want to do is uh, do some gold tracking. Um, so to track gold, right now we have no way of tracking gold or getting gold in the game. In the future, the way getting gold is going to work is by killing zombies. But for now, I'm just going to add a variable called gold. Um, and we will just give ourselves some gold when the game starts uh, for now, just so we can get the shop working. So when we click start right now, I'm going to, uh, for the moment, put in some gold that just gives us maybe 100 gold so we can test things out. For now, we'll just stick this gold here at the bottom left of the screen. And I also want the gold to only show when we're in the shop. So uh, you can change whether these uh, variables show or hide through the code here. So we can go ahead and show our gold when the shop is showing. And we can hide the gold when the shop is hiding. I'm also going to go ahead and hide state since we really don't need to be showing that uh, to our players. All right, so the next thing I want to do is right now we have a shop with all of the different upgrades, but um, I'm, we need to create prices for each one of these things that the players can click on and uh, increase their speed or their health. So the next thing I want to do is make those. So to do that, I'm going to go over to my Game Arts 2D here, and I've been using this uh, the free medieval button pack. Um, so if you want to click here, you can you can download this for free. The link will be in the description. And when you download it, uh, it'll be in your downloads folder. You can right click and extract all, extract, and you'll get uh, this page of all the different buttons. And I'm using, I'm using these ones specifically. So now if I go back into my code, I can go ahead and upload a new sprite. And the sprite will be all these different buttons. And now in the costumes, what I want to do is I want to pick out specifically, I want, uh, you can use whatever you want, but I want to use these ones right here. Uh, for the upgrades. So I think uh, the way I've been thinking of this is uh, these ones are the initial upgrade. These are the bronze upgrade. And so we can go ahead and add a new costume and paste that in there. And then we'll have a silver upgrade, which will be this one. And then we'll have a gold upgrade, which will be the very last one, the highest upgrade you can get. And we'll add that one in there. Uh, once you have all those in here, we can go ahead and delete the buttons. And then we have our three costumes for the different levels of upgrade. So now that I have these costumes in, I want to rename this to, this will be our player speed upgrade. So we'll call this the speed upgrade. And the way it's going to work is I'm going to put in some text here and the text will be how expensive it is. So uh, I think my speed upgrade is usually five gold to start with. So five G uh, and I turn these to gold because I think it looks nice. There's something like this, something like this orange color. And then we want to make sure that these are lined up a little bit better here. Right now they're off kind of in the middle. So I want to put them uh, a little bit more centered. And I probably want to make the button a little bit larger. So something a little bit more like this. And then I might also increase just the size of this whole this whole thing. Might, I might increase to like 130. Or maybe even a little bigger, 150. Uh, if we want to see how that looks in the shop, we can always start our game uh, and uh, die real quick. And there we go. So now we can place this in the shop where we want it. So for the player speed, I want the player speed to go right here, I think. And then it'll just be the same idea for each one of these other upgrades. So I'm going to copy what I have here uh, and paste it here. And uh, yeah, we'll just do this for each one of them. So see you guys when that's done. There we go. So that looks good to me. Uh, we have our different upgrades. Uh, the other thing I want to do real quick is I want to, uh, I'll, I'll show you guys why in a little bit, but I'm going to name the upgrades, I'm going to name the costumes with the same uh, amount that they are worth. So this one's going to be called 5, this one's going to be called 25, and this one's going to be called 100, which is the same amount that they cost. And you'll see why I do that in just a little bit when we get to actually buying these upgrades. Now that I have the speed upgrades, I want to do the same thing for the uh, other upgrades for our health. So I'm just going to copy what I have here. Uh, and then we're going to just change these. I usually like to make the health ones I think are a little bit more valuable, so I make them a little bit more expensive. Uh, 40, and we'll do, uh, let's say, 40 times 4 would be like 150. That seems reasonable. Or maybe 120. Again, you guys are welcome, obviously, to choose your own numbers here, but these are the numbers that make sense to me. Uh, one thing we want to make sure we do is that these uh, numbers don't show. These only show when we're in the shop. So uh, I'm going to go borrow the code we use for the shop to only show or hide it when we're in the shop. And I'm going to drag those into these upgrades because we only want to show these upgrades if we're actually there. And we'll go ahead and get rid of this uh, the hide and show gold because we already have it. And same thing for this other one here. Uh, this one is the uh, health upgrade though, so I'm going to call that health upgrade. And I'm going to again remove this show and hide. 
Great. Okay, so now we're only showing these if the state is shop. Uh, the other thing we want to do with the health upgrade uh, is we want to go ahead and rename these so that their values are the same. So 8 for the first costume, this would be 40 for the second costume, and this one would be 120 for the third costume. And then in our code, uh, what we want to do is we want to set those equal to the first costume. So when we click, when we start the game, we want to start at the first costume because we haven't bought any upgrades yet. So if you go to switch costume, we can switch our costume to the very first one. And same thing for the player's speed, we can switch the costume to the first one. So now in order to buy these upgrades, what we're going to want to do is we want to say when we click on these sprites, when we click on these little upgrade chevrons here, uh, we want this to uh, switch to the next costume and give our players uh, whatever upgrade it is we're doing. But they can only do that if they actually have enough money. So the way we're going to check that is whenever they click on the sprite, we're going to stick in an if statement here, and we're going to check if they have enough. So if the, and, and this is why I set the costume numbers, by the way, equal to the same thing, uh, the same thing as, as what they cost, because we can do this kind of trick here where we say, uh, if the costume name, uh, costume name meaning how, uh, how expensive they are, if the costume name, which is here five or 25 or a hundred is less than the amount of gold we have, uh, less than or equal to the amount of gold we have, then we can buy it. So we're going to say if uh, our costume is less than our amount of gold, oh, or equal to our amount of gold, so less than our amount of gold plus one. So this plus one is making it that it's less than or or equal to essentially our amount of gold. So if our costume, uh, uh, if, our, if our costume amount, if the amount that this costs is less than or equal to our amount of gold plus one, then we can buy it because we have enough money for it. And so what we would do in that case is we would say we want to change our uh, gold by the, again, the costume name, because that's the, that's that costume name is the amount that we're changing it by. And then we also want to uh, switch to the next costume. Switch to the next costume. Great. So if we do that, uh, this will sort of work here if I start the game and uh, and run into a zombie real quick uh, This will sort of work so we can buy our upgrade. We can buy another upgrade. Uh, oops I accidentally made that positive didn't I let's make that negative. This would be by uh, the negative of the costume name So zero minus costume name. Sorry. Let's try that again Okay so you'll notice what happens is this works. I can buy the first one, it takes away five gold, and then I can buy the second one at 70, but then I can't buy this next one. It won't let me buy it because I only have 70 gold and I need 100. So let me real quick cheat and give myself some more gold. There we go. So now I have 100 gold uh, and I can buy this third one and it works, but then it cycles back around to the first one again, which is not quite what we wanted to happen. We want this to disappear once we've bought all the upgrades we can buy. So the way I'm gonna fix that is I'm going to add in one more costume here at the end. And I'm going to call that costume, I think I'll call it uh, uh, Purchased All. And that's going to show when we've gotten all of our upgrades for a particular area. So we'll say Purchased All. There we go. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to name, and I'm going to name this costume Done. So something other than the prices. And so then what I want to do is we'll say if we are, if our costume number, if we have enough gold and if we're not on Done, if we are not at Done, not uh, costume name equals done, not costume name uh, equals done. So if we have enough gold and our costume name is not done, we're not on the last costume, then we can buy gold. So let's go ahead and I'm real quick going to actually increase the amount of gold we have to 200 so we can test this. Uh, so if I start it and I die and get into here, then we have one, two, three, and then we can't purchase anymore. We're, we're done, we're at this purchased all, which looks pretty good. Uh, one thing that this is not doing right now, though, is it is not actually giving us our upgrades. Uh, so even though we're clicking upgrade, we don't actually run any faster for buying this player speed upgrade. Uh, so what we wanna do is go into our player here, and currently, uh, the way speed works is we just set it to a number. So currently, we just set it to three or negative three. Uh, what we're going to want to do is instead store the player's speed in a variable. So we'll call this something like player speed. And then we're going to use that player speed variable. Instead of just hard coding in the threes here, we're going to use that player speed variable that we can change. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab a uh, minus zero here. So if we're going to the left, then we want to take our uh, current speed, uh, our player speed, the negative of our player speed. And if we're going to the right, we want to take the positive of our player speed. Perfect. Okay. 
So then when we start the game, when we first start the game, we are going to have that player speed is going to be set to the default, which I think will be two. So we'll start our player speed at two. But then every time we buy one of these upgrades, we will change that player speed by one so that she gets faster every with every upgrade we buy. So now if we start this, uh, we can play our game and we're really slow to start with. But once we buy a couple of upgrades, now we're much faster. Our player, our player speed has increased a lot. And then we're going to do basically the same thing. Oh, we can go ahead and hide the variable. We don't need to be showing player speed right here. Um, and then so we're going to do basically the same thing with our health upgrade here. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this code into the health upgrade. And then all that's going to change here, it's going to be almost the same thing. All that's going to change is we're going to add a variable for our... We, have, we currently have a value called player health. But the other thing we want to want, we're going to want is the maximum player health max player health so that max player health is what we're going to be upgrading we're not really upgrading her health because that resets every time we're upgrading the maximum health she can have uh, every time so this max player health we will have by default will be set to uh will be set to two because she has two hearts to start with that's what we have right now and then we're going to increase that by two every time is what i like to do so we'll have her uh, max health increase by two every time she buys an upgrade so she'll basically get two more hearts every time she gets an upgrade so then what we need to do in Adventure Girl's hitbox, because remember her hitbox is where we're controlling her health, is we need to say, uh, instead of setting to two, we're gonna be setting to the uh, maximum player health. And then every time we click the start button, every time we reset the game, we're gonna set her health to whatever her maximum health is. So player health to whatever her maximum health is. So now when I start this game, uh, and we here, we'll die real quick. We only have two hearts right now. But if I upgrade my player health all the way, Oops, we missed a step. Uh, you notice I forgot to add the uh, I forgot to add the purchased all to the uh, health here. So we'll stick that one in here. There we go. Sorry, we'll try that again. Okay, there we go. So now if we purchase all of the all of the player health that it's possible to purchase, and we click start again, um, you'll notice now we're starting at eight health instead of at two health. And if we die, it'll take a while now because it's much harder to die with this much health. Then you'll see. Yeah, we purchased all. We have thirty two gold. If we start again, we still have that eight health. So that is how you do the shop and the player upgrades for health and speed. In the next video, we're going to be talking about her gun upgrades. So upgrading the damage that her bullets do, and then also upgrading her bullets so that they can go through multiple enemies. You can buy pen uh, penetration upgrades so it goes through one enemy and then it'll go through another enemy before the bullet is destroyed.